Hello and welcome back to another CK2 episode as future king of Denmark here, Sigurd Snake in the Eye. Which I haven't mentioned before, but that really is a great nickname. You should get plus one martial score for that nickname. But we have... Oh, that's stewardship. We have pretty decent martial score already. So, um, yeah, now our uh, domain size is five out of six, uh, which I'm not sure. I think we must have gotten more stewardship from somewhere. So we could hold another county, but we'd have to take one from one of these people who pretty much all like us. Well, they're not too happy, I guess. Desires the Jarldom. I guess they're probably all going to desire the Jarldom. This guy. Oh, he's wounded. And do you desire my Jarldom? Yeah. Well, that's tough, because if I gave you a Jarldom, you'd become independent, and we can't have that. So, we were trying to fabricate a claim over here. Let's just unpause while I'm rambling about nothing. And go on speed four. Trying to fabricate a claim here, which is not going to be connected to our current lands, which I don't like, but... Yeah. Also, it's outside the Dujur Kingdom of Denmark, so it's not actually really helping us. Our heir came of age. And he became a great eminence, so that's nice. Let's get him married. Someone with good martial... Ooh, a genius. Yeah, she's Slavic. Yeah, we would... Let's see, he would lose prestige, but... We wouldn't, I think. Yeah, we can afford to lose some even if we do. Well, let's see. Yeah, getting the genius trait into our bloodline is probably pretty val valuable. He left our court for the temple oh, because she has land. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess that's okay. He's educated, so, you know, what's the worst that could happen? They're not going to educate him wrongly. Let's gain... let's gain the prestige. I, well, I actually don't know whether the opinion bonus for prestige works the same way as it does in vanilla. It seems we're getting uh, plus two, which means it's maybe half our prestige divided by 100 rounded down, something like that. I don't know. Either way, more prestige is going to be good. So yeah, that might have been a mistake letting our heir go off to another court somewhere, but we'll just assume it's going to be fine. Our brother Bjorn Ironside, again a great nickname, um, is calling us to arms against High Chief Ihala. Well, sure, why not? Who is this guy? Where do you live? Up here. Oh, he has nothing. All right. Probably don't need to help with that, I imagine. Hmm. You know, maybe it would be better... Uh, oh. I was just going to say. Uh, yeah, there is a trick I think you can do in vanilla where if I don't accept this, and then move him and then accept it, uh, I'll get a claim on a different county. But I don't really like doing that because it seems kind of gamey. Uh, so I can lose 77 gold and 100 prestige to get a claim on this county. Do I want that? Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll use that. Why not? Okay. So what I was going to say is I... Uh, maybe haven't fabricated a claim over here so I don't have to use one of my... Uh, you know, three-year cooldown sub subjugation CBs on getting just this one island, which I think is part of du jour Denmark. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Again, do we have anyone better to a point here? No, no, we did. Okay. Well, we can fabricate a claim over there. Meanwhile, we'll take this county with its large amount of holding slots. 
Um, so, can we go to war against this man? He has 1600 troops, which is no problem. Uh, he has an ally which he cannot call to war. So, yeah. We should be able to take him no problem, I think. Let's go ahead and declare that war. Oh, we can't. He's not independent, of course. We have to declare it on this guy. Uh, so, does this cost us prestige, I think? Yeah, 50 prestige and 10 piety, which is not really a problem. All right, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. I don't think we need to call any allies in. Uh, where am I? Military. And let's just walk over there. We'll meet up here. Somebody died in childbirth, but I don't really know who that is. Whoa, okay. Is this him? Yeah, okay, this is him. Alright, let's just go kill his army, I suppose. Uh, is there a river crossing? River crossing Reynoldsburg and Dithmarschen, which is neither of which are these. This, uh, let's just go ahead and do it. We can't actually change our people in charge because our crown authority is too low, and we can't raise crown authority until we form the kingdom title, I believe. Uh, yeah. So yeah, nothing to be done about that. We shouldn't have a problem winning the disadvantage. Oh, and we increased our experience in matters of war again. Um, do we have a lot of heavy infantry? I don't know. Mm. Seems we do have quite a lot of heavy infantry. Let's uh, let's focus on heavy infantry then. Seems good. Okay. Uh, my careful maneuvers in this battle have shown our patient nature to everyone. Nice. I wasn't already patient, was I? No. Good. Good. Uh, is that purely positive, basically? Yep. Great. Let's, uh, let's head over there and siege the war goal, then. Under well, construction, disease, yep, yep. He's raising his troops again, but... Not enough to worry me. Oh, these siege events, yes, yes. Oh, we're at 100% already. What am I doing? Was it just from that battle? Well, yes, it was. Okay. Well, there we go then. I'll just take that. And I'll keep it because I have the domain limit and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good county. Apart from it being the wrong religion and so forth. Maybe we send our um, seer there to try and convert it. Which is something I believe there is a lower chance of. 1.15% uh, chance yearly, it looks like. Yeah, okay, that was. Uh, He has a much higher chance of being attacked by heathens, but hey, that's fine. You know, something is building over here. What are we building? Oh, castle walls, nice. Probably should think about building some improvements of my own sometime. Uh, I still don't have that much money, so we got castle walls. We should training ground. We have the warrior cult, which gives us more infantry, archers, galleys, reduces technology and garrison size. Hmm. Uh, upgrading the castle ten would be good, which requires castle walls. Why don't we just upgrade the castle walls then? Here, yeah. Maybe do it somewhere else as well. 
this isn't possibly a better place. Uh, yep, castle walls, okay. I like that. So, any uh, interesting things we can do? Let's go on another grand hunt whenever it becomes possible to do that. I am no better than anyone. I can always learn something from everyone. Even the lowliest beggar or the most foolish imbecile have something to tell me. Today, while surveying a nearby town, one of the peasants taught me a profound lesson. Humility is the only way to better understand the world after all. Nice. We can gain a stat. Uh, Ten piety. I don't think we gained a stat. Oh well. That's fine. Somebody died after a period of illness. Okay. Married to our vassal. Okay. Levy reinforcement rate. Nice. Grand hunt. The people of Constantinople have donated us some technology. Hopefully our hunt doesn't get interrupted this time. Our hunting party has cornered a large bear. Uh, let's see. I can gain wrath or gain 15 prestige. Possibly get wounded. Well, what's the point of going on a hunt if you don't possibly get wounded? Let's do that. We did not get wounded. And again, the scent of a boar. Uh, all right, let's maybe get wounded again. We did not, great. Technology spreading. Um, oh, good hunting. Well done. So, uh, for the want of anything better to do for the moment, why don't we go raiding again? Let's raise uh, up all our guys. Meet up here. Oops. So we hopefully we have enough boats now to actually fit everyone on them. Not that it's a big deal, we could always fit most of them, but it's just slightly annoying. We do have enough boats now. Great. So let's make stacks of about a thousand. We went over. Okay. That will do. All of you get on the boats. Oh, we missed someone. Oh well. Too late. Actually, you know what? It's not too late because I forgot to toggle these as leaders. And we'll wait for him to catch up. Although, that means we don't fit on the boats, so that army can just go on. Okay. We're all leaders. And we'll get them on the boats. look for a good target. So over here in uh, Bruges again is still a good target and may or may not still have that big army park there. Let's assume not and go over here and see. We can always loot London again. Call to arms. Uh, against Duke Dumnarth of Duke Dumnarth of Dumnonia. Okay, sure. Oh, okay. Well, let's just assume he doesn't need our help then. Yeah, we can loot over here. Great. Let's see. Let's put one here. Um, let's have one here and one here. I don't think these counties were particularly rich, but. They'll do. Oh, once again, I have not done that properly. Okay. Here and here. Castle walls. Completing. Nice. Um, 
Mm, lost the trait gre gregarious. Which is unfortunate. Let's see if we can... Whoa, okay. Took my eye off that for a second, and... That's pretty bad. An arrow flies out of nowhere and hits me. Okay, I took an arrow to the knee. I'm wounded. Well, shit. That is pretty unfortunate. Let's get out of there. It is the beginning of the battle, after several days, and your men face the enemy ready for a fight. As you go around inspecting your troops, you have to engage in conversation with one of your troops, a young, inexperienced squire. If this is his first battle, he's afraid, but also anxious to prove himself. You advise him being afraid is normal. Brace yourself for the sight of blood. The enemy are men too. Fight mercifully and, honor mercifully and honorably. Hmm. Alright, let's brace him for the sight of blood. Uh, yeah. Did we lose that whole army? I think we did, yeah. Well, that is unfortunate. We should try to be more careful in the future. Let's go over here and move to London again. Uh, Solvi of Selend, my courtier, and I believe my marshal, has died. So, let's appoint this guy, who is our vassal. Uh, let's have him train troops. I think it was here? It might have been down there. Oh well. Back to looting. The important business. One here. One here. Hopefully we can stay long enough to actually siege down the holdings this time. I think we might actually be at war with these guys. Are we at war with these guys? Uh, yeah. King Alfred of Wessex we are at war with. So I guess we're sort of helping. Okay, heathens attacked him. Oh well. He's not going to have a problem there. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to siege these down. Which is nice. Oh, if we unpaused it, we could siege them down. That's my fault. Okay, war is over. I have inherited the county of Sleeswick. Okay. Now I'm over my domain limit. Let's give that away to somebody. Which one is that? Uh, this one. Okay. Fine characters. Men. Not in prison. Any. Not a ruler. My religion. My culture. Uh, yes, adult. Not a great house. Ooh. This guy. Yeah, let's give it to him. Thank you, of Sleeswick. Sorry, I want this. Great. Maybe we should make him our new marshal as well. He's much better than our old marshal. He's a count as opposed to uh, this alderman. Is that, a, is that a city vassal? Probably. I don't know. Anyway, the count is more important. We have him train troops. He's raising his armies, presumably to try and... Uh... As your men return from looting the holding, one of them hands you an axe with a strange purple sheen and a plus etched into the handle, followed by the number two. After weighing it carefully in your hands, you toss aside your old grey axe in favour of the new weapon. I feel stronger. Gain two, Marshal. Nice. We got a magic axe. Okay. We looted some stuff. Ooh, this one has a lot of juicy sub-holdings. Yeah, 
fight. You're good at reinforcing troops. That X doesn't actually work on this. Uh... Oh, it does sometimes. Okay, looted some more stuff. The daughter was born. Won the siege. Okay. More sieges. Wow, we needed that of 69.2 gold. Uh, our boats are probably almost full by now. Okay. There was a big army there just a second ago. Possibly think about leaving. Well, you could probably wait a bit longer. Siege of St. Paul's. Oh, no, it happened again. Reinforce with this guy and probably win this battle. Yeah. Okay. Let's just leave now, though. Since our boats are almost full of loot. back home. Nice. All sorts of gold and loot. Well, gold is loot. Gold and prestige, rather. Okay, we can probably uh, build some some things over here now. Uh, castle town? Yeah, it increases tax income. Let's build a few of those. We can't build that. We need... Uh, Castle walls, okay. Build a castle town. And... Castle town. And castle walls. And we're basically out of money. Okay then. That's fine. Probably could have commissioned a runestone as well. Heard any good rumors lately? Asks one of your courtiers while you two engage in idle conversation one day. I've heard others say the same. I ate a muddied crab the other day. Horrible meal. I do not spread rumors. I create them. Wow. Could really hate her and gain some prestige. Sure. Let's be mean to our courtiers for no reason. How long left for our subjugation? Oh, it looks like we can actually do it now. How time flies when you're looting people. So, this guy does not have a lot of men, does not have any allies he can call in. Well, it sounds like he's ripe for attacking. Uh, so, Assuming we can actually do this. Subjugation of Denmark, yeah we can, great. Then let's, shall we? Raise up our armies. Might have been better to wait a little while since we lost some troops looting, but yeah, I think we shouldn't have a problem. Discovered a plot where Sigurd of Upland, Utland, excuse me, seeks to fabricate a claim on the Jarl of Saland. Well, no. Don't do that. Yeah, stop that, please. I don't particularly want to revoke it. Though, if we had him killed, we would inherit his lands. And his money. Hmm. Maybe his money. I'm not sure if it goes to his family. Yep, 
so he seems to have moved his army away, so we can just walk across here. Uh, is his army up here somewhere? It's not. Is he at war with somebody else? No, just with me. Weird. Yeah, this is the one that doesn't work. Uh, we've caught the enemy commander sneaking out of the castle. Take them back to the dungeons. And our brother Ivar is calling, to, calling us to war again against Wessex. Okay. Probably don't need to help. As usual. Uh, yep, siege events mostly. Uh, I'd rather fight his army. Uh, that gives more war score, but well, whatever. So this is our other son. Requires a guardian. And can we educate him ourselves? We have, you know, we have a decent education trick, but we might switch him out to somebody with a better one just before he comes of age. Okay. Okay, Castle Royal Wolves, Castle Town. Great, great. Stewards died after a period of illness. Okay. Let's appoint you. We'll go and collect taxes. Uh, wherever we have the best taxes, which is in the capital. Alright. 72% war score. Oh, we inherited the county of Utland from this guy. This was the guy who was plotting against us, right? Yeah. Well, let's give that away again. Uh, not to you. Yeah, let's give it to Dag over here. Or not, because he is dead. Let us not give it to Dag. Let's give it to this guy. Utland, yes. Congratulations. Alright, back to this siege. Prisoner Rolf, uh, Rolf Haraldrson can rot in my dungeons until our next blot rolls around. Oh, my wound healed. Excellent. I actually forgot I was wounded. The mere sight of Goodfried fills you with contempt. Challenge the Kerr to home gang, a single combat duel, to finally settle your differences once and for all. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. Though I am a novice fighter and he doesn't have any fighting trait. Sure, let's do it. He accepts our challenge. Still dawn when we meet him on the small islet chosen for the home gang. Grab our shield and axe while our opponent does the same. My chances of winning are good. You see me when we match the fighting drags on. We are both bleeding from multiple wounds. The jewel is declared a draw. Okay, I'm wounded again. Which is bad. Oh well. This guy sieging my capital with six men. Alright. I assume you won't give up until I get to 100%. Of course not. Well. We'll just leave it there for this episode and uh, should be able to finish this war pretty quickly next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.